walk you through some steps on making your first um, espresso. So before we turn on the machine, I'm um, gonna make sure there's water in the reservoir. Always use filtered water in there. Okay, this machine was shipped to you with water in the boiler, so you don't need to prime the pump, um, which is something that you would have to do if there is no water inside the boiler. How you would do that would be to turn the on button and the pump button on at the same time until you get water coming out of But since there's already water in the boiler, all we have to do is turn it on. When you turn it on, this is the only light that will be on. When the machine is, is um, sufficiently heated up, this light will also come on. And whenever you're in this orientation, just this button on, you are in the, the shot mode or <clears throat> the pump mode. So whenever you press this button, um, water will come out here at the right pressure to produce espresso. When this button is pressed, then that activates, the boiler gets hotter, and your steam function starts working. So right now we're just going to wait until this light, this light turns on, okay? Okay, after about three minutes, this light came on, which means that the boiler's at sufficient temperature to pull some shots. So first I'm going to demonstrate how the steps involved to make a latte or a cappuccino, something where we're going to be steaming. So I've already ground some coffee and I'm going to get the, the portafilter and coffee ready to go. So I've dosed uh, 14 grams of coffee into, into the portafilter and now I'm going to tamp it, tamp the coffee down evenly and with uh, about 20 pounds or so, or a little, maybe a little more of pressure. So now we have the, the portafilter ready to go after we steam the milk. So, I have some milk ready in the pitcher, and from this stage, we're still in shot mode, we're just letting the machine warm up. So just as an example, this is what it would look like. Coming right out of the group head. But we're going to go from this mode to steam. So again, you press this button, and this light comes off, this is your indicator light. This will come back on when the machine is heated up enough um, to produce steam. The indicator light just came on, so we're ready to steam. Steam one's over here, and your steam knob is right here. Turn it to the left to open up the valve, and turn it to the right to close it. I just put my finger on the um, here just to see if the, the temperature is right. You know, it's steep enough. And right there, it's about too hot to touch for very long. So that's kind of my measure for it's done. So I turn it off. Set the milk aside for a second. Get a rag, clean off. Uh, the steam wand, which is important because that milk will dry there and get harder to clean off later. So from here, we go back to steam mode. I'm sorry, back to pump mode. And we don't have to wait for anything. Um, right now, the boiler is already um, it was at a hotter temperature when it was on steam. So flipping it back here, it actually needs to cool down. And the way we do that, it's called blowing off the steam or cooling the group head. And how you do that is to just run the pump and a lot of steam will come out here. You just want to do that for a few seconds until uh, there's no more steam. obviously put a cup under there if you want to. So we're ready now. I'm going to lock in 
the porta filter, put my cup in there, and we're gonna pull about one and a half, two ounces of coffee. Press the pump to start it and the pump to stop it. So it looks about right. Bring it over and show it to the camera. You should be able to see the crema on top and a Guinnessing effect right below that. So the espresso looks pretty good. Pour that into the cup. Get the milk. Do a little swirl. latte. Now for cleaning, immediately rinse out the, the container for, for steaming and also pull out the porta filter and since there's coffee stuck to the bottom of the group head, just kind of clean that off. Dispose of the grounds, wash out the group head, I mean, I'm sorry, the porta filter. the shower head underneath there. Lock that back in place. Whenever you're not using the machine and when it's warming up, it's good to keep the group head on here because you actually, I'm sorry, the port filter on there because you want that to heat up. And once you clean your cup, you can place it back up here. This is a warming tray for the cup. And that's it.